versus men. Conversation that proves that women lie and men are pigs. Short Humor Audiobook. Written by, Geronimo Lopez Soldevilla. Any resemblance with reality is pure coincidence, any similarity with current events, people or places, alive or not, real or fictitious, is mere coincidence and the product of a feverish imagination run amok on the part of the author. For best results use headphones, although it is not strictly necessary to enjoy the content. Let's start. Verbatim transcript of a conversation between a random woman and a random man in a random restaurant, anywhere in the world, and on a first date after arguing about who should pay for dinner after the third bottle of red wine. The woman lies, and she does it in the worst way you can lie, she does it deliberately, with full awareness of what she does, and with the ultimate goal, to, st to stick us men a dart in the place of feelings that hurts us most, to rejoice later, of something that even she does not know, but enjoys. Men are pigs who only have one thing on their minds when they address a woman, and that thing is the access to our organism, only and exclusively, to check what face we make when the walls of our fortress are opened, and keep that image in her mind as a trophy achieved by her efforts in a job, generally short and poorly done for which nobody would pay, and it is that men were born without feelings, and when they seem to show them, they are nothing more than sour substitutes for a sugar, which pretends to sweeten, but it will never be good sugar. Women lie, because when we tell them something that they would never understand, the first thing that occurs to them is, of course I understand you, otherwise who else would, knowing for sure, as we men know, that any of our friends and even acquaintances, in the deepest state of drunkenness, would understand the same or more than all women together working a whole week on the meaning of a concept as simple as that 2 plus 2 are 4. Men are pigs, because they love sex more than their mother and then make us guilty of their childish neuroses of repressed sins, saying that we are all despicable objects, with the exception of their mother, of course, who is actually to blame for them being as pigs as they are. Women lie vilely when they tell us, no one has ever spoken to me as you do, when we all know that since a woman has consciousness, since she has the use of the word, with her first words, she already has the experience of facing the onslaught of men who tell her in 20,000 different ways the same thing 20,000 times. Men are pigs because when they end a relationship, almost always because of another woman, because they do not know how to be alone, a woman cries and opens her heart to her friends, and then, she, according to the noble feeling she harbored, writes a poem entitled, All Men Are Idiots, this poem, which, coming from a broken heart, they proudly misread before the idiots of their friends, who are as frustrated or more than the reader himself, who besides being pedantic and conceited lacks a Total Reading Comprehension The woman lies when she tells us that they need us as the support and remedy to the afflictions of their life, when the deep ego of the woman is so immense, that it is capable of blinding any glimpse of anything other than what they think, an ego so big that it is capable of supporting the weight of the egos of all her friends, who with falsehood and hypocrisy through attempts to remedy the ills of themselves, give each other advice with the aim of destroying the ego of the friend they are. Trying to help, false friends, who will always advise, that the best bomb is money, jewels and luxuries at the expense of the work and effort of another. Men are pigs because they are only concerned about the relationship between quality and quantity after having consumed the product, and then ask their friends for their opinion about the new product purchased, who will surely ask them to get them another one that is the same or similar. Women lie when they tell us that they have been to such and such a golf club or such and such a casino, when we all know that, if women have been taught anything, it is an education tending only to look for a husband as a primary objective, and that they have never set foot in those places they boast about on their own merits. Men are pigs because they have no problem for getting a relationship, looking for the next one, remembering the previous one, to call us six months after the breakup, at four in the morning on a Saturday night with a voice that denotes a supreme drunkenness, and tell us, I just want you to know that you are to blame for having ruined my life and that I will never forgive you but I would like you to know that I think we can still try again. The woman lies when she says that when she was younger, this or that mature executive, of a high position, asked her to marry him and that she rejected him because she has always believed in pure love, when we all know that love, for women, is a capitalist invention of convenience. Men are pigs because if you were to ask us women, what are the three animals we would like to have? The answer would be, a mink in the closet, a jaguar in the garage and a tiger in the bed. But the ones we really have are, a rabbit in the closet, 
a beetle in the garage and a pig in the bed, which also sleeps like a groundhog, behaves like a hyena and smells like a skunk. Women lie when they tell us their age, because there is a clear difference between what they say they are, what they look like, what they really are, and what we perceive them to be. Men are pigs because we mature faster, and at 17 we behave like adults, men at that age are still running after a soccer ball, fighting among themselves and arguing about sizes in the showers. Women lie when they say they are natural blondes, when we all know that only happens in the movies. Men are pigs because if we prefer between half an hour and three quarters of preparation for a good stew, they prefer between 30 to 45 seconds of microwave-type preparation, where, in addition, taking us back to our house, saying goodbye thankfully, arranging the next appointment, and telling us the plot of the blondes movie, are part of that same preparation. Women lie because when they say yes, they mean no, when they say I don't know, they don't know what they are saying and when they say nothing is wrong, everything is wrong. Men are pigs because they dress elegantly only on two occasions, weddings and funerals, where they do not seek the joy and rejoicing of the former, or the pain and sentiment of the latter, and sheathed in their elegance they only seek to have sporadic relations with any well-dressed woman but their own. Women lie, because when they say go with your friends, have fun, they are warning us of an epic-making scolding for coming home drunk, and still have the imprudence to remind us of things we never did or said, to thus achieve what they already intended before telling us to go, don't worry, I understand, that is, to take advantage of a situation in which we will always feel guilty. Men are pigs because in the locker room, men talk about three things, money, soccer and women. Exaggerating about money they don't have, showing that they don't know half as much about soccer as they think they do, and above all making up stories about women they have never had, let alone know. Women lie because they lie to themselves saying that their children will change when they make their first communion, or when they have a girlfriend, or when they get a job. Men are pigs because when by chance they are able to remember a wedding, we women talk about the ceremony and the details, while they only talk and talk about the bachelor party, the drunkenness, the banquet, or how the bride's underwear was showing. The woman lies to her best friend with her husband whom they make her lover in order to lie to him with hers. Men are pigs because girls like to play and when they are 11 or 12 years old they lose interest in childish things, while men never get rid of their obsession for toys, and as they get older, they buy them more expensive and useless to impress us and pretend with them, to have love relationships through material things. Women lie about their anatomy because they have three hands, the right, the left, and the one she paints on her face. Men are pigs because if there were a tennis modality in which on each side of the court there would be a woman against a man, the modality should be called the female individual with obstacles, where the obstacle is a pig that would only look at the short skirt of her opponent. Women lie when they say they think, because they only have four neurons, one for each stove in the kitchen, and if you want to make them happy you only have to enlarge the kitchen so that they feel free and have their own space. Men are pigs because with their half-brain in which only the word sex fits, they call themselves intelligent. Women lie because the difference between an attractive sorceress and a hideous witch is five years of marriage. Men are pigs because between two trucks, one full of pigs and one full of men, the only difference between them is the license plate of the vehicle. Women lie because they come into your life in a strong, wild, atrocious way, like a hurricane, and then drive off with your car, your house and your savings, leaving only disaster in their wake. Men are pigs because when they are told a joke they laugh three times, once when it is told, once when it is explained, and the last time when they understand it is related to sex. Women lie because when they tell us, make me a woman, the only thing a man can do to literally please them is to take off his pants and give them to her so she can iron them for him. Men are pigs because they look like they came out of a gas station. From the feet to the waist they say they have super, from the waist to the neck, they are all normal, and in the head, they have in their only neuron, unleaded sex, being all of them, in reality, like the beer bottles they drink, from the neck up they are empty. Women lie because they are presented to us as poetic literature, when in reality they are like arithmetical rules, in that they add displeasure, subtract happiness, multiply expenses, and divide opinions. And who do you think wins? Leave a comment. If you like the narration give me a like and visit my channel where you can find a variety of content and where I will upload more short humor audiobooks. 
Thanks for your attention.